Hello everybody and welcome back to another C++ and SDL programming tutorial. In the last tutorial we were looking at the SDL underscore image library version 2.0 and that allowed us to actually use more image types and, and, and file types anyway with our images that we load in SDL. We were able to use uh, sorry, .png, .jpeg, .gif, or .gif, however you want to say it, and more common uh, file types than the typical bitmap, because only by default, SDL has, uh, I think, load bitmap, but that is, is not going to work out for us, because typically we see .png files. That's really where we see most of the sprites come from in the real world. So we wanted that img underscore load. Now, that library was kind of nice. It didn't have to be really initialized or anything. It just had to be included, and it would work with uh, services or SDL services just like, uh, just like normal. Now, continuing that idea of adding resources and, and new elements of multimedia into our code and into our software, in this video we're going to get into sounds and music. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and save this, this, this code. I'm going to create another copy of it called 10A uh, and I'm going to call it I think adding sounds is what I'll call it. 10A adding sounds dot cpp. Okay, cool. Now, uh, let's hop on over to the internet. I've got my internet browser open and I'm at Google and You'll notice that in the last tutorial we were looking at SDL underscore image, and it seems like with SDL libraries and modules, it always has this theme or this kind of naming convention where we use underscore and then the name of what it is that we want. Now, the new library or the module that I want to introduce to you is called SDL underscore mixer. And uh, you'll see the first result here gives us a link to another projects page at libsdl.org, and that's exactly what we want. Li uh, sorry, libsdl underscore mixer 2.0 is available, and uh, all the things available here do give us the Windows binaries, the Linux uh, and, and Mac stuff that we need. Uh, again, probably on Linux, I'm just going to install this by the command line, and I'll show you how to do that very, very soon. This description, anyway, is that SDL Mixer is a sample multi-channel audio mixer library. It supports any number of simultaneously playing channels of 16-bit stereo audio, plus a single channel of music mixed by the popular FLAC, MicMod, MOD, Timidity, MIDI, Og Vorbis, and other stuff that I don't know anything about. Um, and that's really all that we need to know. Documentation is shown right up at the top here. And let's see, I think we can just go to one page HTML, and that'll tell us how to use all this stuff. Alright, we don't have to install it this way because it'll kind of go ahead and install that when we install it on our own. And actually, let's let's get to that. Let's go ahead and install this. Uh, I'm on Linux, so I'm just going to go ahead and use the regular command sudo app get install, sudo to run a super user, app get as their package manager, and install. And the library is called libsdl2, just like we've seen before. Now, the hyphen is going to denote the name of the module or the library, in this case it's mixer. And of course we want the development libraries, so we use again hyphen and dev. I'm going to hit enter, go ahead and enter my password, and uh, for me this is already installed, but it'll just ask you, yes, do you want to do this, and you'll type in Y for yes, you do want to do this. Okay, now in our software, in our actual code, we'll go ahead and include this just like we included the SDL image. We're going to use include SDL mixer, and you'll see in the documentation this is exactly what it advises us to do. Compiling, the way that we can do this uh, is, anyway, pretty similar to the way that we included it with SDL image. We use dash L, um, SDL2 in this case, and then underscore mixer. Okay. Now, here it, it shows some of the uh, functions that we can use. Um, I believe initialize will initialize it. I don't know if that's actually necessary from what I know. Initialize, mix, quit. Open audio is what I've seen used most often. So I'll show you how to use that. And uh, and here it displays the uh, information for all the arguments that we'll be using and that sort of thing. Anyway, let's get down to our code. Um, we're going to end up using all of these probably after our sprite classes and, uh, and that sort of thing. Um, I'm going to create a little code block for us. Probably... Let's see, where do I want this? 
We'll do it after we update the window. And I'll leave a nice little comment. Initialize the mixer. Okay. Now, this first function that we're going to run is mix underscore open audio. Mix is the kind of precursor, like, or, or at least the beginning, like we've been seeing with IMG for image and uh, SDL for this, for actual the SDL library. Now we're just going to use a mix with uh, only a capital M rather than capitalize everything. And open audio is what we want to use here, and that'll kind of initialize things for us. The frequency is by default 22050. You'll notice there is a constant for that. Mix default frequency. I'm just going to copy and paste that because I'm lazy. And um, format, I believe, is output sample format. And I have been using the same argument for that, actually. Now, it asks for the number of channels. Um, set two for stereo, one for mono. This doesn't really have anything to do with mixing channels. Uh, for what I've seen, we just use two for stereo. And uh, chunk size, bytes per output sample. Now, I don't know anything about this. This is just kind of a magic number for me. Um, I, I know to type in 4096. <laughs> and uh, hopefully you'll trust me on that. It seems to work pretty okay. All right, now that we have that initialized and we're kind of double checking our uh, our documentation, notice that it does actually ask us to close audio, and that's kind of like the cleanup function like we've been using with SDL quit and SDL destroy window and that sort of thing. So before we forget, let's go ahead and add that down at the bottom here. Mix close audio. And don't forget your semicolon. Okay, now we'll get into actually loading these sounds. Um, the sounds, I am hoping that... Yeah, okay, good. Now it shows how to use this. This function, um, mix underscore load wave, is what will allow us to load a wave file, and all of these sound bytes or sounds are stored in objects called mix chunks. Now, after our initialization function, I'm going to go ahead and create a new line and just say mix chunk for the type, and this is going to be a pointer. This will return, obviously, a pointer. And uh, I'll just call mine sound. By default, it can equal null, because we're just going to override this. But it, it's generally a good idea to keep uh, all pointers to be a null pointer before you start to use them. And then we'll go ahead and reset it. Sound can equal mix underscore. The function we're looking at is, remember, load wave. You'll see this in the documentation. It loads a file for use as a sample sound. It actually uses something in the back end, and it can load uh, WAV files, uh, AUG files, and anything else. You have to call uh, uh, mix open audio before this. I know it says SDL here, but it did say over at the top that there may be some con conflicts and confusions. You should use a mix open audio rather than SDL open audio. Okay. Now let's get back down to where the heck I just was. Hopefully I can find it. Okay, here we go. Null is returned on errors. And you can, of course, use the mix underscore get error if you're having some trouble with your program and, and your code. Okay, so that loads the sound for us. Uh, the file name that I'm going to use, I do just have a, a, a small sound over here. Uh, Scratch.wav. Wave. And... Uh, I think I just had those from Lazy Foos tutorials or whatever the case may be. But, yeah. Try and find a good wave sound online, and you can use that as often as you'd like. Now, um, the way that we actually play this sound is with a whole new function. And that's called Mix Play Channel. These channels, or the functions that allow us to use um, channels, will really play anything that we, w that we need to. So, here. This playing, or this this kind of header here, it allows us to look at the functions that are associated with this. And play channel is exactly what we need. We need it on one channel, or the channel to play it on. Negative one will be the first free unreserved channel, so that's what the argument that we'll use. The chunk is the actual sound or simple to play. And loops is whether or not we want to loop. Um, negative one is infinite loop. One will play the sample twice for one loop. So we'll just use it zero, so it'll play just once. Okay. 
Now, in that code, mix underscore play channel, negative one for the free channel, sound for the mix chunk that we want to use, and zero for no repeats. Awesome. Now, because we have created this chunk, because we have created this sound file, remember with uh, some of the surfaces that we use in uh, in SDL, we have to free them and, and that sort of thing. Uh, we have to do the same with um, the, the chunks and the sound effects that we actually use. So down at the bottom here where we're closing the audio for the um, open and initialized mix mixer in that library, we actually have also free chunk. And uh, that is going to free the pointer or free the memory that we use to actually keep track of that sound. It's obviously a bad idea to free a chunk that's still being played. So, And we can reset the uh, pointer just to just go back to be null. Let's do that over here in our code. Mix underscore free chunk sound. And sound can equal null. Okay. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and compile this just to see how we're doing. Um, G++ 10A, adding sounds. We're going to use package config in our backticks. And you guys know the drill here. Remember, we're going to be including image, and we'll be including uh, the mixer. And remember to use SDL2 right here. Okay. Compile this. No errors. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Run it. And I didn't hear it. I wasn't able to hear the sound, but maybe you were on your machine. Let's try it again. Hmm. I'm not getting it. I'm not getting the sound. Okay, uh, after some reviewing, now I see the problem. I had set up the uh, initial argument to the mix open audio function to be mix default frequency, and that's exactly what it should be. And I told you the wrong information that the second argument should be mix default frequency, but no, it should actually be uh, something else, an entirely different constant. It should be mix default uh, format. And uh, this is the suggested default sign 16-bit samples in the host byte order. And when we actually use open audio, that's kind of what we should be passing in for the format, the output sample format. So rather than mix default frequency being the second argument as well as the first, mix default frequency should be the first, and mix default format should be the second. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I hope you can forgive me on that one. But anyway, moving on, now we should be able to play our sound. Um, actually, I'm just going to change this back to, uh, to sprites, too, because I don't want... I don't want to see a whole lot of that happening around here. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's run this code. Compile it. No errors. Now we can run this, and ooh, I hear that sound, I hear that scratching sound, and I know that, alright, cool, I'm, I'm actually playing sounds. And that's the function, and that's how you can load and, and, and play a sound. Obviously, you can look more at what this documentation can do for you, but let's go ahead and move on. The next thing that we're going to want to do, or look at anyway, is how we can mix music. Because I remember the description of the SDL underscore mixer library was able to play music as well. And that's stored in not mixed chunks, because those are mixed chunks are just sound samples and sound bytes, right? No, it's instead uh, stored in mixed music uh, objects. So let's look for a few more of these. The way that we load one of those is by the mix underscore load muse or mus function. And uh, this just uses another string or a constant character array for the, the file name. And this can load WAV, MIDI, AUG, MP3, any, any file that you really kind of use a command to play. And uh, this uses, again, a pointer, so it's very similar to the mixed chunk. And um, we can kind of keep checking out more of these. Let's check it out. Mix music, asterisk music. By default, that's a pointer, so it can be null. And we'll reset it to that new function we were looking at, mix underscore load muse, or M-U-S. The file name, in my case, is beat.wav, or beat.wave. And again, that's just something that I found online, probably from like lazy food tutorials, and um, just a sample sound file to test out what we're doing. Now, 
Uh, now we actually want to play this music, and if we look in our C also, we've got a, a few options here. Mix underscore play music. That will probably do exactly what we need. And uh, exactly, that does what we need. Um, we pass in the mix music object for the music file to play, and whether or not we actually want to loop number of times to play through the music. Zero plays the music zero times. So, okay. <laughs> and uh, negative one will play the music forever, or as close as it can get to forever. Um, this will return zero on success or negative one for errors. Let's go ahead and run this. Mix, play, music, music, and negative one. Cool. Now if I compile this, if I run it, oh, I don't know if you can hear that, but man, there's plenty of noise going on on my computer. <laughs> okay. We'll shut that up, and I'll show you a few more functions that you can that you can use here. Um, I notice you can see uh, there are some alsos or see alsos in the documentation. You can use fade in music to um, fade in for a, a certain amount of time, and that's kind of nifty. Uh, I would recommend you just check these out and play with them in your code. There are a few others. Uh, you can fade into a specific position in the music with this mix fade in music. That's kind of nice. Um, you can set the music position, really just at any position. Uh, it'll set the position of the currently playing music. You should just really be checking out some of these functions, see what they can do. And um, I know there are, of course, others. Halt music. This will halt the playback of music. This interrupts the music fader options, and uh, it'll always return zero. It should just stop the music like you press the final stop button. There is, of course, fade out music. Uh, hook music finished. I would check out some more of these. Playing music, mix underscore playing music uh, will kind of return uh, an integer, which is essentially a Boolean value because it tells you whether or not music is actively playing. It's kind of a yes or no question. It will return zero if the music is not playing or one if it is playing, like false for not and true for, for yes. So <clears throat> that's a good thing to know. There is, of course, pause music as to whether or not the music is paused. Um, that's a little weird, but there are functions to pause music, this right here, and uh, resume music. And notice it doesn't take any arguments. It's what's going to it's going to do these things to the currently playing music because only one piece of music can play at a time. There are 16 channels for sounds, but only one channel for music. And uh, rewind music will go back to the start. There, there are plenty of things to look at here, and I won't demonstrate all of these for you, but I want you to know that these functions exist, and uh, it, it's good to be able to use them. So, okay. Thank you for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it took quite a while, but we are looking at two different things here, music and sound effects, and a whole new freaking library that uh, has its own documentation and uh, nifty things to do and work with C++ and SDL with. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to end off here. Again, I want to thank you for watching. It'd be nice if you could like the video if you did like the video. Maybe leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Maybe subscribe if you like what I do and you like the stuff that you see. I'll see you in the next tutorial.